the ball. Bouncy, orange, happy, rubber magic, a sensational sphere. The smell of fresh rubber or even the old worn down rubber on a raggedy ball. That savory smell, it fills up my lungs and makes me feel light on my feet. If I could make a candle scent of it, I would. No matter what ball, the scent always brings me back to the same place. Home. Sticky. Those airy, tiny bumps. The roundness fills up my palms. I hear the hiss as it glides through my fingertips so smoothly. Bouncy. Orange. Happy. The ball. My father put it in my hand when I was eight. It became our thing. Our way to connect. Almost like a new language. The one constant that held between us. Through all the chaos, it remained and it never changed. Even when he left, the sheer memory of him putting that round, happy thing in my palm kept me tethered to him. The sight of it brought my dad to my memory. That ball that connects me to so much. The ball. Is it a cliche to say it is everything? Not for me. I owe so much of my life to that ball. It is my heart, my passion, my world. It has consumed me, my dreams, my life for the majority of the time on this earth. Healthy? Probably not, but I won't stop because it hasn't quit on me. The ball. It was that ball that helped me forget when the police beat my father for no reason other than that he was black, right in front of me when I was five. Almost killed him right in front of my eyes, threw him in the hospital and then jail. We won the court case, but racism won the battle as I still grapple with the trauma today. The ball got me a scholarship at an elite private school where I was the only black girl in my grade. Most people my age would have hated that and trust me, I was not a fan of it, but I had the ball. I was there for the ball. My prowess on the court didn't save me from my white classmates, didn't save me from the hurt. While on a bus for a field trip, a classmate asked me if I'm sure I didn't want to move to the back of the bus as they looked at each other and laughed. But that ball, that ball saved me from feeling like nothing. Saved me from hating being black at one point and questioning why it came with so much strife. Hating the color of my skin from just plain hate. I'm older now, so I love my skin, but being black can really suck sometimes. People judging me, my brother, my friends, wherever I go, have to be careful behind the wheel, at a pool in a resort. I think twice about wearing hoodies and think twice about being honest on a questionnaire asking me my race. Gotta look up how my kind is treated when visiting another country because wherever I am, people just see black first. Might not make sense, but being black can make you feel invisible. But the ball, the ball helps me feel seen. The ball frees me from it all. It gives me my smile that so many says light light up a room. It gives me a light spirit in spite of all this dark heaviness that makes me feel like I can't breathe. That is causing us all to feel like we are drowning, suffocating from the weight of it all. The ball keeps me buoyant keeps me bouncing, keeps me hopeful, keeps me here. My head up, my eyes bright, my heart full. The ball gave me my education at the prestigious University of Virginia and then even at Masters at St. Joseph's University. It took me to so many states in and out of our country, took me to Puerto Rico, Spain, Italy. I got to see so many places and my most favorite thing it has done is introduce me to so many people. The ball has given me the tools to connect with at-risk youth who are so desensitized to gun violence that when shots are fired, Outside a community center where we were about to start a program, they just duck. One ducks and a bullet misses him so closely that there's a hole in the headrest of his seat. Then they just want to go inside and start to play. Unfazed. Kids who are just looking for someone to give a crap about them. To give them a chance. To help them find their voice. So they can get what they deserve. To just see them. What we all deserve. A fair chance. Because God knows they don't have a fair chance right now at anything. Not when there are knees on our necks suffocating us hunting and killing us every single day. The ball, it gives back every single minute. It is a constant. I know what to expect. I bounce it, it bounces back to me. It's consistent, reliable, and I get out exactly what I put in. I know every time that the force I use when it leaves my fingertips is the same force that sends it right back to me. Always, guaranteed, as long as I have air in it, of course. I control it, but there's still a part that allows me to feel that I am not completely in control. I can move, I dance on the court. That ball is my touchstone, makes me powerful. All the sounds get me, especially the magical swoosh when it flawlessly falls through a basket. But it is way more than that. The ball has given me teammates, lifelong friends, and a family on and off the court. I needed that, I longed for that. While my home life could not provide, basketball stepped in. On a team, we all have a job, a role to play. We do it together. We have our own rhythm. We move a certain way. Even on my hardest day, during my toughest time when I left UVA because an individual, for whatever reason, tried to break me and left me questioning myself, my sport, my team. Ultimately, it was the ball 
that brought me back and kept me centered. I could have given up, walked away, but I didn't. Honestly, I couldn't. I stuck with the ball because every day since I was eight, that ball stuck with me. And I knew it would never let me down. And to this day, it never has. Now I work with kids, kids who have a really hard time, who have been dealt a terrible hand. Basketball is the conduit that helps me help them to find themselves, find a voice, perhaps find love, find a family, find consistency, and constants that won't let them down. Life is hard. Life is harder when you're black. People leave in a myriad of ways. That ball, it doesn't. You can trust it. You can figure out how to play it. It is a level playing field, and even if you don't want to be a basketball player, I bet I can use it to teach you a thing or two about life and what you may want to be. The team. It is more complicated because it is people. No one knows what pain anyone brings to the court on every, any given day. What makes them angry? When a team gets together, they, work, they have to work out. You learn what everyone's strengths are, weaknesses, what motivates, what demoralizes, how to pump them up, how to maintain a rhythm or a faith in something when everything is falling out. But I like that part. I think that's a beautiful challenge. And when it comes together and we can all get on the same pulse, it's an even greater thing to see. In this life, we are all on the same team. I think people have lost sight of that. The ball gave me faith. Basketball allowed me to let my guard down, trust my teammates, my coaches, most of all myself. Basketball gave me a family on the court, a way to express my faith every day. I wanna give that to others, to kids who have little constants in their lives, who have been let down by life, by the system, their parents, their teachers, or the people they see in the street who may clutch their bag a little tighter or walk a little faster when they pass them by. I want to give them everything basketball has and continues to give me. PYB gives me that chance. Basketball brought me to PYB. I am me because of basketball. I am all that I am because my dad gave me a gift that was a constant that I could depend on when I couldn't depend on anybody else. Something that gave me faith when I could not depend on the kindness of others. I am suffering right now. We are all suffering with the state of our country. It's in a pandemic, but I am hopeful because I still have my people. I'm a part of PYB because we need programs like PYB. Programs that prove to our kids that there is a future, that they need to trust in themselves, in something bigger and greater than just their pain or anger or disappointment. The ball saved me, and though it may not save every kid, I know something at PYB will be will. It may be the relationships, the opportunity, or even just the presence of our building, but it has everlasting impact written all over it. I am me because of basketball. Through it, I have become bigger and my life has become bigger. And I will use that ball to reach and touch as many lives possible. When I ask myself how I will give back to the game and that ball after it has given everything to me, the answer is PYB. And if I can use that bouncy, rubbery, orange fear to help other kids see themselves, then I will never put it down. Jaron Garner.